Hi, I'm Candace Collins, and I am reading for Stevie in The Goat. And my name is Steven, and I'll be reading Martin's line from The Goat. Well, if you're after utopia. Sure. Unless you're one of those people who finds it right off. That's it. That's the place. Unless you're one of those you've got to search, look around, close enough to make it practical for our country needs, no more than an hour or so from. Our country needs. You're the one who said it. Virgency, flowers and green leaves against steel and stone, okay? Okay. And it's lovely. Now get to the goat. I'm getting there. I'm getting to her. Stop calling it her. That is what she is. It is a she. She is a she. I suppose I should be grateful it wasn't a male. Isn't a male goat. Funny you should ask, as they say. There was a place I went to. Oh? Well, when I realized something was wrong, I mean, when I realized people would think something was wrong, that was I was doing wasn't, I am going to kill you. Yes, probably. It was a their piece of place, a place people went to to talk about it, about what they were doing and with whom. What? Not whom. What? With what? Whatever. A place. Please, let me finish this. A place to talk about it, like AA, like Alcoholics Anonymous. Goat fuckers anonymous? Please. Please. Sorry, destroy me. It had no cute name. No AA, no, no nothing. Just a place. How did you find it? Online. Of course. I went there. And there were, what, 10 of us? A group leader, of course. What was he fucking? Sorry, who? He was cured. He said, odd oh, phrase, was off it. <sighs> Very well. What had he been fucking? A pig, a young pig. Go on. Is there going to be a lot of that? Probably. You don't want Billy down here. Some things... Some things are what? Private? Sacred? Husband telling wife about a peculiar therapy session. A pig? A small one, he said. Jesus! You two okay? Yes, we're fine. Go away, Billy. Who's throwing things? I am. Your mother is throwing things. Is there going to be more? I imagine so. I gave you this one. I think I'll take it upstairs. I would have noticed, Billy. Sure. You guys hold it down. I would have. I think I would have. So anyway, it was this place. A pig, really? Well, everyone had, you know. Someone or something. Yes. And was Clarissa Atherton there? Who? Oh, yes, yes. There was, that's what I, I got the card. And and what was she fucking? Who? A dog, I think. A dog, you think? Why would she lie? Why would anyone there lie? Yes, or maybe your new assistant. Who, uh, Ted Ryan? No, the other one, the one with the hooters. Oh, 
Lucy something. Yes, Lucy something. You men are the the end. Where was I? An affair with a certain Sylvia, who I am mortified to tell you is a goat. You will, of course, be shocked and greatly distressed to know this, but I felt it my obligation to be the one to bear these tidings, as I'm sure you'd rather hear it from a dear friend, doubtless Martin, doubtless. Sounds right. Doubtless Martin will tell you all I have not and cannot with profound affection for you both, Ross. Well. Yes. Well, we will now discuss it. Of course, though you won't understand. Oh, do you want to know what I thought? What I thought after I'd read the letter right to the end? Um, no, I don't want to know or guess. Well, I laughed, of course. A grim joke, but an awfully funny one. That Ross, I tell you, that Ross, you go too far, Ross. It's it's funny in its awful way. But it's a way overboard, Ross. So then I shook my head and, and I laughed at the awfulness of it, the absurdity, the awfulness. Some things are so awful you have to laugh. And then, as I listened to myself laughing, I began to wonder why I was laughing. It's not funny when you come right down to it, Ross. Why was I laughing? And just like that, I stopped. I stopped laughing. I realized, probably in the way, if you suddenly fell off a building, oh shit, I've fallen off a building and I'm going to die, I'm going to go splat on the sidewalk, like that, that it wasn't a joke at all. It was awful and absurd but it wasn't a joke and everything tied in. Ross coming here to interview you yesterday, the funny smell, the Noel coward bit we did about you having an affair and with a goat, you said it right out and I laughed. You told me and came right out and fucking told me and I laughed and I made jokes about going to the feed store and I laughed, I fucking laughed until it stopped, until the laughter stopped until it all came together. Ross's letter, the rest, the odd smell, the mistress's perfume, and so I knew. Stevie, I'm so- Shut up. And so I knew. And next, of course, came believing it. Knowing it, knowing it's true is one thing, but, but believing what you knew, oh. Well, there's that tough part. We'll prepare for jolts along the way. Well, there's, a, there's, there's evasions, there's infidelities if they happen. I've never had an affair, by the way, all our years together, not even with a cat or anything. Oh, Stevie. We prepare for things, for, for lessenings, inevitable lessenings. And we think we can handle everything, whatever comes along, but we don't know, do we? Do we? No. No, we don't. Fucking right. We don't. Something can happen that's outside the rules. That doesn't relate to the way the game is played. Death before you're ready to even think about it. That's part of the game. A stroke that leaves you sitting looking at an eggplant that the week before was your husband. That's another. Emotional disengagement. Gradual, so gradual you don't even notice it's happening or sudden, not very often. But occasionally, that's another. You read about spouses. God, I hate that word. Spouses who all of a sudden start wearing dresses. Theirs or your own collection or wives become dykes but if there's one thing you don't put on your plate 
no matter how exotic your taste may be, is bestiality. Don't. You don't understand. The fucking of animals. No, that's one thing you haven't thought about. One thing you overlooked as a byway on the road of life as the old soap has it. Well, I wonder when he'll start cruising livestock. I must ask mother whether dad did it and how she handled it. No, that's the one thing you haven't thought about, nor could you conceive of it. So, how was your day? <laughs>